Hey guys, the Tech Wannabe here, and today I want to talk about and review the Razer Black Shark Pro wireless gaming headset. We will go over and focus on the general look, the build quality, adjustability, comfort and feel, what's in the box, how easy it was to set up, and of course, how it performs in sound and microphone quality. I like to do things a little different around here and refute in a way that talks more about how it is to actually use the thing that I'm talking about. And if that's something that you like, be sure to leave a thumbs up and sub to the channel so you don't miss a video. And as you guys know, every great journey begins with an unboxing. So what you get in the box is the headset, obviously the detachable microphone, the USB dongle, you get your Elite Razer certification, and you also get this little carrying bag, which is a nice touch, but I can't say I'm gonna be using it too much. For build quality, if I had to sum it up, I would say very strong. The closed back ear cups are this sleek matte black plastic. I love that they've done away with the green logo here. And you also have a very easy to find and solid feeling for your control on the left cup too. Along with an on off switch and a mic mute button, which honestly I'm not the hugest fan of. I find it too small and because it's also spring loaded, it can be at times difficult to tell if you pressed it in properly. I feel they could have perhaps made the volume nub like a push into mute or something. I feel like that would have been way more consistent. The headband is actually really nice and I know it's hard to get someone excited about a headband but just look at it. The stitching and the logo are super clean in this leather like headband and it feels really premium which is a big win in my books. Now would be a good time to start talking about the comfort and adjustability I think and I want to note going into this part that I do have what you would call a big ass head so just bear that in mind while I'm giving you my thoughts here. Starting with that adjustable headband, I know you might be thinking those small metal mounts look like they would bend under the slightest pressure, and I'm with you, I thought the same when I looked at this myself. But damn, I don't know what Razer made this out of, but this metal is solid, I have absolutely no concerns of the strength of this thing whatsoever. The ear cups, they slide up and down easily enough, and there's a massive range of motion here, so it should fit all head sizes. But there are no clicks or steps, so you kind of just have to guess and play around with it until it's comfy which can be kind of annoying because it will lead to misalignment of the ear cups at times. And speaking of the ear cups, I find the shape very comfortable. It's tall and it's just the right width, though if you're a bit of a dumbo and you have massive elephant ears, this shape might be a tad too narrow for you. The padding on the ear cups is a coarse fabric which isn't the most comfortable material against your skin in the world, but it's not bad either. One of the things that I really like about it is it actually holds like no heat whatsoever so my ears never warm up which is very nice. But I do find it lacking a bit in padding. Now this could be down to the clamp force which does feel pretty strong even after a month of use but then again I do have a great big head so it's an issue I get with a lot of headsets. If I had to sum it all up and give it a score for looks, I'd give it a solid 10. I love the style and the build quality is fantastic. I have absolutely zero complaints here whatsoever. For comfort, I would probably give it a generous 7 out of 10. The material on the ear cups just feels ever so slightly too rough against my skin and the padding seems to be lacking and all the clamping force is just a little too much for my head shape. As for setting this bad boy up, there isn't too much to say. You whack the dongle into your PC and away you go, really. But you do have access to Razer Synapse and you can play around with the EQ profiles so if that's the kind of thing that floats your boat. You'll also have access to some pretty sweet surround sound settings through THX Spatial Audio, which gives you emulated surround sound, which really opens up the sound stage in some games, giving you a much better spatial awareness. So you can pinpoint the direction of sounds more easily. This is godlike in Apex Legends, let me tell you. Though I have to say my favorite feature has to be the real-time mic playback or side tone, which allows you to hear your mic with no latency through your ear cups. Which, seeing as the Black Sharks are closed back headphones, really helps make sure you're not screaming the house down when you're getting into a bit of a spicy gamer sesh. You also have access to a whole bunch of presets and enhancements for the microphone, but I've decided not to play with them here because I like the way that it sounds by default, and I'll show you why just in a moment. And now it's time to talk about the sound quality. Very important stuff. The overall volume level of the headphone is reasonable. Um, at full blast, it won't make your ears bleed and there's no discernible distortion. The high and mid ranges are clear with a surprisingly controlled and rich bass, which I wasn't expecting from Razer headphones. 
As far as a gaming headset goes, I don't think it gets much better than this, but then again, that is what you're paying nearly £170 for here. In actual use, I find that in some cases I wish it could be louder, but the levels are bang on. Going from FPS to MMO to RPG, the headphones sound right every time, and I have not ever once had the slightest urge to mess with the settings one bit. Now, we're getting to the part I was most excited to talk to you guys about, the microphone. And if you're wondering why I'm getting so excited about this, let me just show you why. Listen to this. Okay, so now I'm using the microphone on the Black Shark headset over wireless, and I've not touched any additional settings. And just listen to that. It's clear with a decent amount of low end, and I was honestly blown away by the quality of this microphone. I'm certain you can squeeze more from it if you want to, but I was more than happy leaving the settings at default. And there you have it, folks. I hope this review helps, and if it did, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you think I'm a pretty swell guy, please give the video a like. It helps it, helps it out a whole bunch. And if you don't want to miss another review, make sure you hit that sub button too. Of course, you can find links where to buy down below in the description. And until next time, this has been the Tech Wannabe. Peace!